I got it. Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. As you probably know, we post content daily, so if you'd like to show your support, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Ever since YouTube became a thing, people have been recording and sharing their everyday lives, and while some are more interesting than others, there have been situations where things quickly went wrong for one reason or another, as you can't always predict everything, and even the most basic things can become dangerous all too fast. From hang gliding gone wrong and ill fated skydiving to a car crash that almost ended fatally and accidental trespassing, here are 7 YouTubers who were caught in near death experiences. Even though Chris Gursky's YouTube channel doesn't have much subscribers, the video he uploaded back in November 2018 has been seen over 9 million times. During his vacation in Switzerland, Gursky decided to give hang gliding a shot, but his first experience of this air sport almost turned deadly thanks to the pilot's oversight. The pilot hooked himself up the hang glider, but somehow forgot to attach Gursky's safety harness before taking off from a cliff. The error became pretty apparent quickly after takeoff, but it was too late and Gursky was holding on by his own two hands as the pilot tried to maneuver into a quick landing. Now this wasn't as fast and easy as Gursky probably hoped it would be as he shared his recollection of the incident in the Facebook post saying, The pilot grabbed my hand, but like in the movies, it was a slow motion slipping of the grip until my right hand slipped off and I grabbed another strap on his left side for a bit, but this slipped off also. When that happened, Gursky then held onto a bar with his left hand while holding the lower part of the pilot's leg with his right hand. After almost two minutes of terror, the pilot directed the glider towards the open landing area and as they were nearing the ground, Gursky realized that he was actually hanging below the landing gear. After two minutes and 14 seconds of his near-death experience, Gursky realized that he's close enough to the ground so he let go. I looked down to see my feet hit first, which ripped me off at about 45 miles per hour as it was a hot landing, he said. While the pilot did manage to land safely, Gursky's right wrist required surgery due to distal radius fracture and his left bicep had a torn tendon because he was holding onto the glider for so long. While the pilot made a critical error in our pre-flight setup by not attaching me to the glider, he did all he could to get me down to the ground as quickly as possible while grabbing onto my harness and flying around with one hand. Casey Neistat is a pretty big YouTuber who mostly posts vlogs on his channel and in a vlog from May 2015, he told the story of how he and his friend Graham nearly died when climbing Mount Takincagua in Argentina back in December 2008. For those of you who don't know, this is the tallest mountain in the southern hemisphere at 20,841 feet tall and the tallest mountain outside of the Himalayas. Because it is located close to the border between Chile and Argentina, Casey and Graham met in Chile and started their hike from there. In his vlog, Casey explained that Aconcagua is not a very technically challenging mountain, so you don't need ice axes, crampons or ropes, but it is still a pretty dangerous mountain to climb, especially when you do it with basically no preparation or help like the two friends did. The two decided to not only summit the mountain, but to do so without oxygen, without porters carrying their 100 plus pounds of gear, without any guide to show them the way, and even without GPS. They just brought a map and a pencil and started their way up. Unfortunately, they both ended up getting pretty ill, struggling to walk and blacking out constantly. They eventually made it to the top of the mountain on Christmas Day, but Casey later said that it was pretty reckless of them to continue going up in that state. He also said that he had no recollection whatsoever of what happened and could only remember feeling so tired that he wanted to lie down and sleep. However, with no helicopters or rescue teams coming to help you above 20,000 feet, doing so would have most likely meant that he would have died there. Up next we have a YouTuber named Funkenstein Jr and while his channel consists of all sorts of videos, he has uploaded a stomach turning video of his near death experience for his 20,000 subscribers. As it turned out, Funkenstein Jr got more adrenaline than he probably expected when a skydiving went wrong and almost ended fatally. The video starts just as he and the other skydivers jump out of a plane, but just moments after the YouTuber gets separated from other skydivers, he realizes that he didn't go through pre-jump safety checks and that his chest strap is unfastened. As he plummets to the ground in a violent spin, he turns his back to Earth and focuses on fixing his chest strap, which ultimately causes him to lose altitude awareness. 
as the ground rapidly approaches and his life hangs in balance. His AAD, a device that senses the body speed and automatically opens the parachute at a preset altitude, activates and saves his life. Still, even that could have ended in disaster since he could have been entangled in the bridle that holds the parachute. If there's a lesson here, it's always to triple check your gear. We all know that there are certain animals you shouldn't mess with, and a 1300 pound bull is definitely one of them. YouTuber Vitaly from the channel Vitalize TV apparently didn't care about that when he decided to go up against a bull and to make the whole thing even worse, he did so dressed in all red, with even his face painted red. The insane idea behind the video he later posted on his channel was to try and collect pumpkins from the area where the bull was, and for each pumpkin Vitaly would donate 100 bucks to cancer research. Although the YouTuber was pretty scared when he saw the bull, things seemed to be going pretty well at first. That is, until the bull decided to charge at him, pushed him to the ground, and started jumping up and down. Luckily, a rodeo clown quickly managed to get the bull to leave Vitaly alone, so the YouTuber could jump over the fence and get into safety. Considering he could have easily had the bull smashed his head, or been pierced by the bull's horns, Vitaly was pretty lucky to have escaped with a broken jaw, and some pretty bad bruises in his thigh and arm. Now, he obviously donated more money than he had collected pumpkins, and one might wonder why he didn't just do that in the first place, as gambling with your life like that just to get some views certainly doesn't seem to be worth it. MTV's hit show Jackass inspired countless people to get out and pull ridiculous pranks of their own. One of them was Roman Atwood, who over time became one of the most successful pranksters out there with over 10 million subscribers on his pranking channel and 16 million subscribers on his vlogging channel. Now, even though his stardom allowed him to pull pranks all over the world and work with legendary Steve-O, Roman's NDE occurred way before he became a YouTuber sensation as he revealed in Twitter post 4 years ago. When he was a teenager, Roman was diagnosed with carbon monoxide poisoning, the most common cause of accidental poisoning related deaths, also called the silent killer because it doesn't have a taste or smell. To make things even trickier, carbon monoxide poisoning mimics many common illnesses like food poisoning or a regular flu, but it generally decreases the blood's ability to carry oxygen. While breathing carbon monoxide causes nausea, lightheadedness, headache, and shortness of breath at lower levels, if you've been exposed to a higher concentration of gas, it can cause permanent brain or heart damage and even death in a matter of minutes. Even though Roman had 80% chance of dying, he managed to recuperate and pursue his interest in filming and editing sketch comedy clips. Mike Fox is a British YouTuber who first became popular when he did a lot of lyric pranks on different people. Why are you using my name in this context? Who are you? I asked for your name, not mine. And uploaded the videos to his YouTube channel. In November 2016, Mike had a pretty bad car accident, and in one of his vlogs he later explained that luckily, no one got seriously injured in the crash, with him coming out the worst of everyone. He explained that he had been driving at 2am, the road had been wet, and he had taken a turn too fast, causing the car to go off the road. Mike ended up with a hairline fracture of his ankle, he smacked his kidney against the door, had a whiplash, a concussion, and bruises and small cuts in various places. After the accident, the police had told him that he and his friends had been incredibly lucky that they crashed there and not 5 meters up the road because then they would have most likely crashed straight into a tree and died. Mike still seemed pretty shook up when he made this vlog and seeing the pictures of the destroyed car made it pretty clear why he felt so lucky to be alive. When Pokemon Go appeared, it quickly became the most successful augmented reality game ever and it took social media and pretty much the entire world by storm. People were so crazy about it that one man in Japan allegedly struck a police officer in the face for interrupting his game. One player was robbed at gunpoint, a couple abandoned their child to play the game, another man fell off a 90 foot cliff, and in this case, YouTuber Lancey Poo and his buddy Redbeard got shot at. On their very first hunt, the guys eventually took some random road off the main road and unfortunately for them, ended up on someone's property. It was the middle of the night and that someone obviously wasn't very pleased to see them stumbling around in the dark on his land. Startling Lassie Poo and Redbeard, the man called them out. What? And even though they immediately said they were leaving, the man fired several shots out of the blue as they fled to their car.
unfortunately no one was hurt in the end, but things could have easily gone the other way, even though it was an innocent game of Pokemon Go. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.